Fishing is the most hazardous industry in the world. Every year, over 20 fishermen lose their lives in the waters around the UK and Ireland. I mean, that could be me. It could be any fisherman, any fisherman at all. It's so, so, so easy. You just slip on a piece of seaweed, a uh, bit of gut on the deck, just a wet deck. It's quite frightening, really. When there was two of us on the boat, you, you knew there was someone else there to grab you. Or to, to cat, you know, catch hold of your oil skin or something as you were going over. But when there's just a one, it might, really brings it home to you and starts to make you think, well, I've got to put some chains up and wear my life jacket. And... Over 90% of fishing deaths are caused by man overboard, flooding, capsize, or where the boat has been reported overdue. In any rescue, time really counts. To have a real chance at saving fishermen's lives, any search and rescue organisation needs to know where an incident has occurred within minutes. Something that until recently has been tough to achieve. Following a successful evaluation trial with fishermen, the RNLI has launched MOB Guardian. It has been specifically designed for fishermen to respond to the high-risk causes of fishing fatalities. It is the only non-mandatory system that provides a direct alert to search and rescue organisations like the RNLI. The system features a unique personal safety device worn by the fishermen while at work, which can be conveniently placed in a pocket or hung around their neck. Man overboard on side A. Looks like he's off very head. Zoom in on, on that. Unlike similar systems, because the device vibrates on immersion, the man overboard knows that help is on its way. Yeah, well, he's obviously on his way back in. That's all we lost on the fishing test guard. You're launched on service to a man overboard from the fishing vessel Sido. Position from MOB Guardian. The man overboard is wearing yellow oilskins. Previously, it could have taken more than half a day to locate a person at sea. Now a person is much more likely to be found alive. If you put in a scenario where, you know, this vessel's out 10 miles out and something happened at midday, but he's not due in till 5 or 6 o'clock, you know, around 5 or 6 o'clock, they'd expect to see him on the shore. But then by 7 o'clock, they'd start to, you know, worry. But then at 8 o'clock, 8 hours down the line before somebody's missed him, which with the system we've got here, at two minutes past 12 after the incident at 12, somebody sure knows he's gone overboard. Confidentiality in fishing is a bit like your PIN number and your, and your bank card. You don't want to give it away if you don't have to. So this system gives them exactly that. It gives them the security that they can go to sea, go about their business, and their position remain secure within, within the RNLI. And that, with that, they are very comfortable. They were thinking Big Brother was watching them in the beginning, but I think now it's been explained a bit more, and, well, it's, a sa it's, it's purely a safety feature. If the lifeboat came out looking for somebody that they didn't know where the hell they were, they've gone overboard, all of a sudden somebody's seen their boat going along without them on it, you've got such a wide area to look for. With this MOB, you know, they've got the position to go straight to you, rather than searching an area 20, 30, 40, 100 square miles. 